Hi, hello everyone. Today, let's discuss about classification of the drugs which acts on respiratory system and gastrointestinal tract. The drugs used to treat the disorders and diseases of respiratory system and gastrointestinal tract. Let's discuss in this class only the classifications of the drugs. The first one, anti-asthmatic drugs. So what is asthma? First of all, asthma is a condition in which the person's airways becomes inflamed. Inflamed means what? Getting inflammation. That is, airways becomes well narrow and becomes inflamed and it becomes narrow and produces some extra mucus. This extra mucus, what it will do? It will obstruct the path of respiratory system. Because of that obstruction, the person cannot breathe properly. So that is called as asthma. In some cases, this asthma may lead to life-threatening attack. May, the patient may die because of this asthma in some cases. So what are anti-asthmatic drugs? These are the classification of anti-asthmatic drugs which are used to, to treat asthma. The first one is bronchodilators, which are used for dilating or relaxing the bronchial smooth muscles. In that, there are again three subclasses. The first one is beta-2 sympathomimetics. The examples of the drugs for this beta-2 sympathomimetics are salbutamol, terbutraline, bambuteral, salmeteral, pharmoteral and ephedrine. Next, methyl xanthines. The methyl xanthines class of drugs are theophylin, aminophilin, cholin, doxophilin. And next class, anticholinergics. The anticholinergic drugs are ipratropium bromide, theotropium bromide. So these are the subclasses of the drugs in bronchodilators. Beta to sympathomimetics, methyl xanthines, and anticholinergics. Next class of drugs which are used as an anti-asthmatic drugs are leukotriene antagonist. Antagonist which acts against this leukotriene receptor. They are Montelukast and Jeffridcast. And next one is mast cell stabilizers. They are sodium chromoglycate and ketotifen. And corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are hydrocortisone, prednisolone, beclomethasone, flunisolide and cyclisonide. These are the drugs of corticosteroids which are used in anti-asthmatic classification. And anti-IG antibody drug, the only drug which is used as anti-asthmatic anti drug is umalizumab. So these are the classes of drugs which are used against asthma. Bronchodilators, methyl xanthines, and methyl xanthines, and leukotriene antagonist, mast cell stabilizers, corticosteroids, and anti-IgE antibody drugs. And next one, COPD. So what is COPD? COPD is nothing but it is a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It obstructs the respiratory path and it is a pulmonary disease. So it is a main condition which is involving the constriction of airways. So that is called as obstruction of airways. When the airways are obstructed, then automatically there is discomfort in breathing and it leads to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Then what are the drugs which are used for treating this chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? The first class of drugs are anti-inflammatory medications. So they are fluticasone, budinocyte, prednisone, methylprednisone, theophylline, and roflomilast. These are anti-inflammatory class drugs. And inhaled bronchodilators. Inhaled bronchodilators are albuterol, terbutolin, salmeterol, pharmoterol, ipratropium, teotropium. These are inhaled bronchodilators, which are inhaled. And other drugs used for COPD are antibiotics mainly and smoking cessation medication. Smoking cessation medication means what? The medication which is used for stopping the smoking and by immunization and by home oxygenation therapy. So these are the drugs which are used for treating this chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And next, expectorants. So what are expectorants? Expectorants are nothing but these are the drugs which promotes the secretion of sputum. 
promotes the secretion of sputum by the air passages. These are mainly used to treat the cough. When there is a cough, which are, when there is cough, we use these expectorants for treating this cough by promoting the secretion of sputum in air passages. So the drugs which are used as expectorants are mainly bronchial secretion enhancers, which increases the secretion of bronchial, uh, whatever the sputum is there, that, is, that comes under this bronchial secretion. In that bronchial secretion enhancers, the drugs which are used are sodium or potassium citrate, potassium iodide, guaifenesin, balsam of tolu, and balsam of wasaka, and ammonium chloride. And the next class of drugs which are used are mucolytics. They are bromohexin, ambroxol, acetylcysteine, carbocysteine. And the next one is antitussives. So antitussives are the medication which suppresses the cough, like expectorants. These are called as cough suppressants. The drugs used as antitussives are mainly opioids, opioid class of drugs, which includes codeine, ethyl morphine, folocodine. Non-opioids, they are noscapine, dextromethorphan, clofidinol, and antihistamine class of drugs, they are chlorphenidamine, diphenhydramine, promethazine and peripherally acting drug that is prinoxidazine and bronchodilators, they are salbutamol and terbutalin. These are the classes of drugs which are used as antitussives. Next one, nasal decongestants. These are used to relieve the nasal congestion in the upper respiratory tract. So nasal constriction or congestion is relieved mainly by these nasal decongestants. And the drugs which are used as nasal decongestants are again three classes. They are the first one, short acting decongestants, which are administered topically. They are phenylephrine, phenylpropanolamine. And the long acting decongestants administered orally, they are ephedrine, pseudoephedrine, and nefazoline. And long acting topical decongestants, they are xylometazoline, oxymetazoline. Next, respiratory stimulants. So in the name itself, it is clear that they are, they are respiratory stimulants. They are used to stimulate the respiration. Post anesthesia means when the patients have taken anesthesia, after taking anesthesia, to get relief from this anesthesia, to rega regain the respiration, we use these respiratory stimulants mainly. And these respiratory stimulants are also used to treat the respiratory conditions such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And the drugs which are used as respiratory stimulants are again three classes. The first one, the drugs which directly activates respiratory center, they are caffeine, bimigride, itimizole. And the drugs which acts by reflex action, they are cytiton, lobelin. And the drugs which shows mixed type of action, they are nikitamide, carbogen. And next one is anti-ulcer agents. So anti-ulcer agents, these are the agents which are used to reduce the ulcers, which are used to treat the gastric ulcers. There are different classes. The first class is the class of the drugs which reduces the gastric acid secretion. They are again subclasses. The first one is H1 antihistaminics. H1 antihistaminics are cimetidine, ranitidine, famotidine, roxatidine. And proton pump inhibitors are pantoprazole, rabiprazole, isomiprazole. And anticholinergic drugs, they are piperenzipine, propenthalin, oxyphenonium. And prostaglandin analogs, that is misoprostal. These are the class of drugs which are used as, which are used to reduce the gastric acid secretion. And the next class drugs are antacids. They are sodium bicarbonate, sodium citrate, magnesium hydroxide, magnesium tricyclate, aluminum hydroxide, and calcium carbonate. And the next class of drugs are ulcer protectives. They are sucralfate, collide, bismuth, substrate. And anti-H pylori drugs. They are amoxicillin, clarithromycin, metronidazole, and tinidazole. These classes of drugs are used against ulcers, gastric ulcers. Next one is laxatives. Laxatives are the medicine which are mainly used against constipation, that is digestion problem. What are the drugs which are used as laxatives? Mainly the first class are bulk forming drugs. They are bran, spicillium, spagula, methyl cellulose. And the stool softeners, which softens the stool of a human being. They are docusates and liquid paraffin. And stimulant purgatives. What are stimulant purgatives here? Phenophthalene, bisacodyl, sodium picosulfate, senna, cascara, sagrada, prucalopride, castor oil. And the next one is osmotic purgatives. What are osmotic purgatives? They are magnesium sulfate, magnesium hydroxide, sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, and lactulose. 
these are the drugs which are used as laxatives next emetics emesis means always vomiting emetics means these are the drugs which promotes the emesis process or vomiting process they are the drugs are mainly epomorphine and ipecacuanab these are the drugs which are used as an emetics next anti emetics anti emetics means which prevents vomiting they are anti cholinergics first class anti cholinergics they are hyoscine dicyclomine next h1 anti histaminics they are promethazine diphenhydramine dimenhydrinate doxylamine cyclizin meclozin and the neuroleptic drugs they are chlorpromazine prochlorperazine haloperidol etc and prokinetic drugs prokinetic drugs are metoclopramide domperidone cisapride mosapride and tegacyrid and 5ht3 antagonist 5 hydroxy tryptamine antagonist they are ondansetron granisetron ondansetron granisetron next adjuvant anti emetics they are dexamethasone benzodiazepines and cannabinoids dexamethasone benzodiazepines and cannabinoids they are anti emetics next carbonatives what are carbonatives these carbonatives are used to soothe the digestive tract what are those drugs mainly sodium bicarbonate peppermint oil cardamom tincture the oil of dill and tincture ginger these are the natural drugs which are used as carbonatives next one digestants in the name itself these are used to promote digestion of food material what are those drugs mainly hydrochloric acid pepsin pepain pancreatin diastase and tachydiastase and next one is appetite stimulants means which increases the hunger in human being and suppressants which decreases the hunger in human being so if appetite stimulants drugs are mainly megastrol acetate oxandrolone and dronabinone these are stimulants which increases the hunger in human being the human beings may feel hungry after taking these drugs and appetite suppressants what are appetite suppressants mainly fenteramine amphipramine lorcaserine topiramate these are appetite suppressants means when you take these drugs you don't feel hungry and weight will be lost for uh, human beings who take these appetite suppressants and also hunger is totally controlled so these are about appetite suppressants and these are the class these are the drugs which are used as appetite stimulants and appetite suppressants so totally this is the first unit classifications of pharmacology 3 only classifications classification of the drugs which are used against respiratory system disorders and also which are used against digestive tract or gastrointestinal tract disorders so this is the first unit classification of drugs of pharmacology 3 thank you jai hind